You're about to learn how to create ultra-realistic AI B-roll using Sora 2 and VO3.1 to take your videos to the next level. I'm currently making a guide for new employees at my company using an AI avatar from Synthesia, which has the latest Sora and Google models built directly into the editor. So now, instead of scrolling through endless libraries of generic stock footage, I can just select VO3.1 or Sora 2 and just describe whatever I want to see. And it can literally be anything, from a slick warehouse to or to a cat wearing a jetpack. And the cool thing about Synthesia is that you don't need to create videos from scratch. Once you're in the dashboard, you can go to the AI video assistant at the top of the screen where you can create a video in a few different ways. You can upload any file to make a video from, and that can be anything from a PDF, a Word doc, or a PowerPoint presentation. You can link to any blog post or web page. You can add a detailed prompt just describing what you want your video to be, or you can go ahead and paste in your own script. And the AI will take this source material and turn it into an engaging video in just a few minutes. Today, I'm gonna to upload a PDF from my computer, then from this next menu underneath, I'll select a template from the template library. And as you can see, there are a lot of different templates to choose from depending on what sort of vibe you're going for. And I like the look of this one here with the AI avatar sitting on the sofa. And because I've already pre-uploaded my brand kit a few days ago, it's actually automatically added my approved company colors, logos, and font styles to this template automatically, which is really cool. Next, I'm gonna select the video length from the drop-down menu. And I'm also just gonna fill in some more details in these boxes under underneath. The more information you can add about your audience and your objectives, the better the final video is going to be. And once I'm done, I'll just hit create outline and it's now going to take all of the text from my PDF and create a summary of the content split up into chapters. So at this point, I can start customizing. I can add or delete any bullet points from these lists, or I could just go ahead and delete any sections if I don't want them at all. When you're ready, hit create video and the AI will now show us a full preview of what the video is going to look like. You have a still of each slide here and the avatar script right next to it. Now at this point I can still change the layout of any slide but to make some more in-depth edits I'm going to continue in the editor and I can now customize everything I see on screen. On the right hand side you have a list of each scene in the video and in this box at the bottom you can adjust the avatar script to whatever you want it to say. You can just click and type like a word document. But now let's take the video to the next level by adding some AI b-roll. This slide right here currently features some very generic stock footage that doesn't really help explain what's going on. So all I need to do is select that video on the canvas, hit replace video over on the right hand side, and in this new menu I can select VO3.1, VO3.1 Fast, or Sora 2. Now all of these video models are good at different things, and I've actually already made a detailed comparison video that I've linked in the description below. But overall I'd say that VO3.1 is the best at creating slick b-roll clips, whereas Sora 2 creates full scenes with audio, but I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. To create any clip just choose a video model, so I'm going to start with VO3.1 fast, and just describe whatever you want to see in as much detail as possible. So I'm looking for a scene of two workers walking through a large warehouse together. One is a senior manager and one is younger and they speak in a friendly way. Then I'll just hit generate and in a few minutes my new clip has appeared in the library. So I can just select that and it's now replaced my footage in the frame. Now, like I said, there are a few differences between each of the video models and one of the biggest differences in Synthesia is that VO3.1 doesn't support audio whereas Sora 2 does. I can add a new scene, select a blank slide, and then I'm gonna open up the media tab at the top of the screen. And from here, I can select Sora 2 from the drop-down menu. Once again, I'll paste in my prompt, and this time I've included some specific speech that I want to hear. Then I'll hit generate, give it a few minutes, and once it's in the library, I can select it and it will drop down onto the canvas, and I now just need to resize it to fill the frame like this. So you can end up with a video with a realistic AI avatar and some slick AI B-roll to help tell your story, and my final product looks like this. Hi there. Welcome. We're so happy to have you here. We know your first day can be overwhelming, so we put together a short video guide to let you know what to expect. Welcome to the team. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. But what if you could replace this stock avatar with a realistic clone of yourself? Well, you can, and I go through the entire process of creating your first personal avatar in this video right here.